Hello Collective! Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to Source. I return to Sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemy against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. <laughs> Judgment is final. Okay. Uh, so, for someone out there in, uh, maybe a lot of us deal with this and we don't know it. Um, there's something where in your relationship... You are expecting your partner to be like wholesome, but you don't care about being wholesome when it comes to you. So you're like a, a hypocrite, something of that nature. It's almost like, and I don't want to put the brothers under, <laughs> I don't want to put the brothers out there like that, okay? <laughs> but if you resonate, be, be, be brave enough to listen. There could be something that resonates with you and could teach you something, maybe... You don't understand why your relationship is going through a downward spiral. Um, it, it may have something to do with your belief system and things like that. But just, you know, give it a chance and listen. Um, we got the temperance out here. You are expecting your partners to be of the temperance energy. Balance, you, hardworking, down to earth, easy to get along with, easy to be around, they pour into you. But as far as it comes to reciprocity, you may not be doing the same thing. You're looking for a partner that is what? Loyal, committed, open-minded to all different things that you introduce. Um, but when it comes to your partner, man or woman, you don't exactly get the same thing in return. So it's big. It's basically like you are asking someone to be something that you are not, or you are asking to be giving something that you are not willing to give. And that is not how it works. This is how you always end up losing these kind of energies because these are very special people. Okay. The temperance energy, you don't meet a lot of temperance energies that are genuinely temperance energies. There's a lot of people that pretend to be, of temperance energy, but maybe they ain't, okay? They've just learned how to carry themselves that way, but internally, it's a facade. It's a facade. It's a nightmare there, okay? These are people that come in your life just to hold you, bondage, keep you stuck, and things like that, but it sounds like that's what you're doing to your partner because you're asking them to give you something that you uh, cannot give them or you're not willing to give them, so you could be someone that's very selfish, right? You want them to pour into your cup, and then... Who pours into their cup? You don't care. You say as long as your cup is full. You're a selfish individual. You're going to have to what? Reciprocate what it is that you are looking for. I don't know some of you or uh, whoever this masculine is I'm picking up on. You come from a background where maybe your father told you that, you know, women uh, have their place or something like that. Your men are supposed to have a lot of options. You can get married, but still do your thing. That ain't how it works. You cannot have your kick and eat it too. Okay. Uh, the world is changing. The world is going a different direction. Women are not putting up with the nonsense anymore. I remember I was working this job, what was it, in 2023 or something like that. Um, and something came out about African women and how they respond to men or their... Something about how they... they uh, how, like... Something about... Uh, them putting up with a, a abuse or something from men, um, if men be in Africa beating women and things like that. And I was just looking at this man, like, you people are so small-minded about African Africans and our culture is ridiculous. First of all, most African women you meet, you, you, you lift your hand at them, you must have woken up that day and decided that you didn't want to be here anymore. Most African women don't play that. The ones that you see... Uh, if they show it to you on TV, uh, where it's like they're being beat by their husbands and they are still trying to make it work and things like that, baby, that's the movies. That's the movies. Don't let that movie get you effed up. <clears throat> okay? Don't let that movie get you effed up. I will tell you all about my mom, but I, want, I don't want to put my mom's business out there. But all I can say is don't let the movies get you effed up thinking, about your, thinking you're about to go 
be with an African woman and you're gonna do whatever it is you want to do to her and she ain't gonna fight back or do don't get don't let the movies get you after brother okay so it's something like that where it's like someone is looking for a passive woman or a passive uh boyfriend man husband whatever so that they can just run over them but they still want this person to be loyal to them you know like the cardi b relationship and the offset offset relationship those two could be very amazing people we don't know them but from what we see right on tv or on social media about them is that they're always there's always some type of cheating that's going on or some type of betrayal that's going on and nine out of ten times she's going to take him back because she's choosing to play some type of submissive role where she has deluded her mind to believe that she has to keep the family dynamic together so whether he cheats ten thousand times she's still going to take him back she's going to make rah 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 about it to the public and then they'll end up back together right so there's someone out here with this mindset where they believe that because they are the man in the relationship, they could not even be uh, uh, matching the woman's energy as far as income or taking care of the home front, paying the bills. It, he don't care, nothing. Or this could be someone that does take care of the home frame. He feels like that qualifies him to do whatever he, he wants. Uh, no, it does not. Um, but at the end of the day, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is your expectations of what it is you want from your partner is on realistic it's unreasonable okay you need to be reasonable you're looking for a temperance energy that's loyal but you ain't that okay you are not a temperance energy you are not loyal maybe this is what you need to ascend to so that you can start making these requests but i guarantee you even when you do make it to that level you're not going to be making any requests because temperance energies they don't really make any requests of people they just typically let people be if you don't match their energy they know how to distance themselves from you they know how to go mia politely diplomatically okay but you are acting out of your ego this is why you think it's okay to even voice something like that that women have their place i can have my cake and eat it too as long as i don't get caught cheating it's not cheating it's still cheating you're still hurting that person you're still hurting that man you're still hurting that woman so cut the crap cut, cut it you need to cut it okay so hopefully you ain't gonna be turned up by what i said but obviously there's some type of lesson you needed to learn and i'm pretty sure there's a brother out here that resonated with it there will be a sister too because there's a whole lot of different women in the world today honey some of these women are more um you know what that girl said what was her name look at me about to butcher this stuff this this uh what is it cardi ray or something like that whatever she said because girls is players too yeah it's women out here that play too you just gonna have to find you the one that can put up with your nonsense. But I guarantee you, it ain't a lot of women out here. At the first sign of F up <laughs> these days, it's the last F up. <laughs> you F up one too many times. Just one time was too many times. <laughs> you say you did what? You went to Keisha? Keisha who? Keisha, my cousin. You don't got no cousin in Keisha. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Chuck says, do this up. May you and Keisha have a good life. She ain't, listen, that woman is not about to argue with you. She ain't about to do no yelling or nothing. Listen, you and, and Keisha can chuck those deuces, go on over there, live, live your best life. But I'm not going to be in it. She said, my name is Missy and I am part of your nonsense. But anyway, sir, your, your expectations of what a relationship should be is selfish. And I don't know if no one has ever told you this. And... <clears throat> And sadly, unfortunately, a lot of men have this belief that it's okay to cheat on women and just, they're just supposed to put up with it. Baby, you got one time to F up with me. <laughs> I disappear so well, so quickly. You won't even, you, you'll be thinking, did she exist? Oh, I did, I did. <laughs> but that realm is gone. <laughs> Was she ever here? Oh, I was, I was, I was. <laughs> Is she alive? Oh, I am, I am, I am, I am. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.